India is going to the moon again. India's third moon mission Chandrayaan-3 has been scheduled for launch on July 14th from the Sadish Dhawan Space Center in Sriharikota. Chandrayaan-3 will be launched by the launch vehicle Mark 3. So how is Chandrayaan-3 important for India and what does India aim to achieve with this moon mission? So Chandrayaan-3 is primarily a landing and roving mission. According to the Indian Space Research Organization, this is a step towards developing and demonstrating technology that would one day be used for interplanetary missions. So ISRO basically has three major objectives with this mission. To demonstrate a safe and soft landing on the lunar surface, to demonstrate the rover moving on the moon, and to perform scientific experiments on the moon. To achieve these objectives, Chandrayaan-3 is equipped with a lander module, a propulsion module, and a rover. So according to ISRO, the lander has the capability to soft land on the moon's surface and deploy the rover which will perform a chemical analysis on the surface during the course of its mobility. The lander and the rover has scientific payloads to carry out experiments on the lunar surface. Another interesting fact about this mission is that Chandrayaan-3 will be the first spacecraft to land on the south pole of the moon's surface. Even the human moon missions of the United States have not been able to explore the south pole of the moon. Therefore, if Chandrayaan-3 is able to land on this part of the moon, then it will be a demonstration of India's technical supremacy and space ambitions. According to ISRO Chairman S. Sobhnath, if the launch goes as per plan on July 14th, then the landing is expected to be scheduled sometime around August last week. He says that the landing is decided depending on whether there is sunlight on the moon. The reason for this, according to Somnath, is that once the sun sets, then there will not be power for the lander and the rover to function and other equipments will stop working. In case the landing does not take place on August 23rd or 24th, then ISRO will take another month to make a landing attempt in September. Upon landing, the rover will slide down from the lander and move on the surface of the moon using its wheels. The movement of the rover will be within observational radius from the lander because the cameras fitted in the lander will be able to see where the rover is moving. So how is this mission any different from the previous Chandrayaan-2? Although Chandrayaan-2 was launched in 2019 and successfully put into the lunar orbit, ISRO lost connection with the lander while attempting to land. The reason attributed to losing connection with the lander was a software glitch. Unlike Chandrayaan-2 which consisted of a lander, a rover and an orbiter, Chandrayaan-3 consists of only a lander and a rover. The orbiter that was used in Chandrayaan-2 will be used for communication and mapping requirements during the Chandrayaan-3 mission. Chandrayaan-3 has also incorporated lander hazard and avoidance cameras to coordinate with the orbiter while landing. Using improved lander capabilities and utilizing existing resources, ISRO hopes to address the challenges it faced during the Chandrayaan-2 mission and ensure a successful moon exploration mission using Chandrayaan-3.